What's up, Wanderers? Today we are in for a special treat. We have another One Take Bag review, and this time it is a travel bag from VanQuest. All right, so what we have here is um, a really, really cool travel bag from VanQuest. Um, it is their only travel bag of this size. You'll see it on their website. Link in the descriptions below, but it's a 46 liter travel bag. It is massive. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. We're gonna do a full walkthrough of this bag, outside and inside. Then we're gonna talk about two things we really like about this bag, two things that, eh, not so much, and an overall recommendation. Should you buy this? the Skycap travel bag from VanQuest. Let's dive right in. Okay, so exterior. First off, you can tell it's a really unique looking bag. There's a lot going on here. So on the front, you've got some straps that you can use to uh, stick some extra stuff in, um, some clothes, etc. You have hook and loop um, on the front, hook and loop on the side, hook and loop on the other side for morale patches, but also for small attachments if you wanted to attach something to the bag. There is not any extra uh, molly paneling on the outside of the bag. Um, this is designed for uh, airplane travel, one bag travel, and so not a lot of extra dangling um, bags on the side of this thing. Um, I don't even know where to start with the outside. Um, so we'll flip it around here and we'll talk about, it's got some beautiful straps on the back, incredibly comfortable. You can also tuck the straps away very easily, um, turning this into more of a suitcase style carry. You have a cushioned grab bag up here. You have a cushioned handle here. So two cushioned handles on the bag to handle kind of briefcase style or to, to grab. Um, the, like I said, the straps, including the um, small kind of waist straps um, and stabilization straps, all tuck away very easily into um, the back panel. So you can uh, completely get rid of all these dangling straps when you are carrying this thing through an airport. Um, I found that to be pretty neat. All right, so let's go ahead and start talking pockets. We'll unhook these straps on the front, and we have, right off the bat, a pocket on the bottom of the bag here. What's going on here? Just a small pocket that is big enough for you to put some dirty clothes or a wet pair of shoes, etc. One shoe at a time go into that, goes into there, but you can put shoes in there, or you can put laptop cords or anything else. So you've got a completely separate bottom pouch with a waterproof lining. Cool. Next pocket is this kind of front pocket. It's got a zipper stop right here, so people can't open it while you're walking through an airport or a city. So let me unbutton that really quick. Pretty secure. And you have on the front here, a nice kind of slip pocket that you can put a jacket in, you can put anything clothes-wise in there um, that you need to get to, magazine, newspaper, etc. Okay, so that's your front pocket. Then you have this next pocket. Let me find where I've got my zippers on this one. Right here. This is the next pocket, and it's honestly unbelievable. This is what VanQuest does better than anybody else, is admin panels and admin pockets. So high contrast interior here. You've got an RFID blocking wallet pouch on the front panel here, a drop pocket here. You've got Velcro pocket here, two uh, kind of admin loops that you can put anything you need to in, a pin loop here, a, another Velcro pocket here, that's kind of webbed out, a key clip, and another Vel Velcro pocket here, and a tablet sleeve that is cushioned, and a deep pocket beyond that with a zipper closure. Unbelievable. You also have 
um, your VanQuest label. I should say the the actual branding on this bag, very minimal and included on the hook and loop. You can cover it up completely if you don't want um, that VanQuest logo showing. And all the zipper pulls are made with these kind of VanQuest one finger zipper pulls that are really nice. Some of my favorites in the industry. All right, so that's your admin pocket on the front. All your stuff, including your laptop, can go there. Now you've got this huge, huge cavernous interior of this bag. On the front pocket, you have a, a little uh, admin pocket. You can put cords in there. You can put, uh, you can use it as a top kit, etc. So anything you want. On either side of this bag, you have uh, kind of panels that you can put dirty clothes in or um, anything else that you don't want in the main pocket. And you've got one on both sides. They run the entire length of the bag. This is not a separate pocket. Remember, this is the little pocket from the bottom of the bag that you can access from the bottom. So that's the bag. It's pretty dang incredible. Oh, and I'm sorry. You've got one of these pockets on the top and the bottom. So that's pretty neat. Um, and this one has another little key fob. So an insane amount of pockets. You've got the front slip pocket, the full admin panel, the interior pocket on the back of the thing, two at the top and bottom um, slip in pockets, the main compartment, and then a side compartment on either side of the main compartment. Whoa. All right. So this bag runs you about $175 on VanQuest's site. It comes in this one colorway, which is a, a nice nylon gray um, with, of course, the signature VanQuest um, interior. Let's talk about two things we love about this bag first. Okay. For a travel bag, this may have the best pocket layout that I've ever seen, period. I love it, it's insane. The admin panel is really nice. You can put everything you need to carry that is admin or tech in this one section of the bag, close it and only open it when you need it. The actual main compartment for travel is big enough for multiple packing cubes if you wanna use packing cubes or just to use as is. There's plenty of style and plenty of ways to separate material as you go, wet from dry, dirty from clean, etc. You've got multiple kind of dry bag pockets that you can utilize. And then the second thing that I love about this bag is the uh, multiple ways in which you can carry it. To be able to carry a suitcase basically, slash duffel, sky cap duffel I think is what they even call it, to be able to carry it as a super comfortable backpack, very unique. And then to be able to stow away the straps whenever you want to, um, just a, an incredible feature. So highly functional, absolutely love the pockets and organization choices that VanQuest has made and the mixed functionality of being a duffel and a backpack, really nice. All right, what do we not like about this bag? Well, only a few things, only a few things. First, I don't know if you can see really easily this kind of U-shaped concave thing that they've got going on here. Um, it's cool, it adds a little bit of extra structure. These are kind of hard reinforced material here. Um, I, I would just wish they had just taken the main compartment out in more of a dome. And instead of having this kind of three or four inches of extra space that is empty air here, um, I would have preferred that they just made the main compartment 10 liters bigger. They had the room for it. Um, I think it came down to weight when full, um, but I, I, I would prefer a little bit more space and not this kind of extra bowed out shape for the bag. Um, so that is one change that I would like to see. The second change that I would like to see, and it's honestly like incredibly, incredibly nitpicky, is a laptop sleeve on the back of the bag right here. We've got the tablet slash laptop sleeve in the tech pack. Um, but honestly, I would like a quick access, rapid access laptop sleeve right here on the back panel. Um, and you could use that then for a laptop or for kind of hidden storage that's up against your back if you wanted to. 
I mean, technically you could drop a laptop down into this space right here that is designed for the um, uh, straps, but I'd like to be able to do both, honestly. Um, so that's the review. That's the walkthrough. Should you buy this bag? Uh, unequivocal, it's a hard word. The answer is yes. Absolutely. It's a great bag. It's great for travel. And if you're looking for a duffel solution, look at this, that can fold down, that can be a backpack or a duffel bag, and that is uh, built for multiple day travel, you could easily do a week or two with this bag if you're really good at packing. Um, I highly recommend it. It's super cool looking, it's super customizable, and it's in insanely overbuilt and high quality. So. I hope you enjoyed it. I do recommend this bag. I'll put a link in the video description. If you liked this video, please leave us a like and please subscribe for more reviews of backpacks, sling bags, travel bags, and EDC items. Thanks you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.